judge ruling that Christopher Hassan will remain behind bars without bail for at least the next two weeks. The hearing coming after Hassan was arrested last week by FBI agents charged with weapons and drugs possession in a suspected plot to attack some prominent politicians and some journalists. Peter Ducey picks up the story, I'm watching this for days now, live in D.C. Hey, Peter, good morning. Good morning. Christopher Hassan had a, a secret level security clearance from 2005 until Tuesday when it was suspended as authorities realized he was stockpiling weapons and drugs to allegedly try to carry out a biological attack and then an attack on the food supply just as soon as he could figure out how to find Spanish flu, botulism or anthrax. That's according to a document found on his computer accompanying these Google searches from last month. What if Trump illegally impeached? Best place in D.C. to see Congress people. Where in D.C. do Congress live? Civil war if Trump impeached Social Democrats USA. The government alleges Hassan wanted to attack prominent Democratic lawmakers who don't have protective details and whose names appear on a hit list next to high-profile cable news stars like Joe Scarborough, Don Lemon, and Chris Hayes, all critics of the Trump administration. I certainly don't think that the president at any point um, has done anything but condemn violence um, against journalists or anyone else. In fact, every single time something like this happens, um, the president is typically one of the first people to condemn the violence, and the media is the first people to blame the president. A colleague of Christopher Hassan told Fox News' Jennifer Griffin, the accused domestic terrorist, didn't smile or joke. He kept a clean desk, rode a Harley to work, and had tattoos all over his body, but never told anybody that he considered himself a white nationalist, and it doesn't sound like his neighbors knew what he was up to either. This is a quite uh, decent neighborhood. It's really scary to know that you've been living around this, you know, with someone being accused of such. So, pretty scary. Last fall, the Coast Guard insider threat program flagged Hassan's suspicious behavior, and the government describes these allegations as just the tip of the iceberg. Bill. Thank you, Peter. Peter Ducey from Washington. I mean, it's as usual. Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realist, the realist, the realist. Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realist, the realist, the realist. Uh, I am indigenous. Go, go. 50 on me. Not stacks talking about caliber. Ha! I'm the realist. I do this shit without a fucking manager. Whoa. These nigga feds, they got white boys over them, they handle the cops. Straight scammers. Leeching out the community like scavengers. Kill em. I am indigenous, raised by the tribe, not villagers. I have no time for the villagers. Still stay straight like villagers. Bang! You don't hear it, but you feel it, bro. I kill a beat like a scrimmage. I gang tea like a damage. Blue you too like a blemish. Can't let a dude stop a mission. Used to gang bang, kind of crib. Now I bring out a full of children. Bang real hard for humanity to live me. See through phones, they be glitching. Key favorite coach was his image. Damn. Got a passion for knowledge, plus I'm glifted. Raised up high on my square, I'm uplifted. <laughs> Y'all ain't even hear me say glyphed it, right? <laughs> like, like Hyrule glyphed it, like, like glyphed it, like, you know, I put like lifted with glyphed. Man, y'all get that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous realist, the motherfucking realist, and I'm gone.